Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some soul pages. All right, we just got done dealing with Mickey Defense over here at the Navy docks. Apparently, uh, he just wanted to go ahead and jump us and uh, see if he can sell us off to Wendy, I guess. <laughs> but we weren't going to have any of that, so we had to kill his ass. <laughs> so, looks like we're going to have to go back down to the sewers and head back to the mucky billet and figure out what we're going to do next. So, let's get out of here. Back to the sewers we go. We got a cutscene. That could have gone better. He was our best shot at finding your mother. It goes to show, though, this is going to be hard. No one will want to talk to us. They're either afraid of Dex or Wendy or both. I want to get back to the mucky billet. Let's talk with Garrett and rest up. Then we can go and see my next contact. Go and speak with Andrew, then we will see about visiting the next contact. We need to see the Undertaker. If this one does not work out, there is one more chance. Then I have run out of ideas. Hmm. Undertaker, huh? Alright, well, let's head back. Any more beasties down here? Maybe we could go ahead and do a little bit of exploring out here and see what's out here, but let's just go ahead and head back. Oh, another cutscene. A figure waits in the gloom of a passageway. You see the young woman from the mist shore. She seems afraid. Her manner is like a cat, hyper alert, ready to fight or fly at any moment. Wait a minute, please. Just give me time to talk. Oh, is this that craven woman? What do you need from us? She seems to relax slightly. Thank you. I thought you might listen. Few would have tried to help me back on the shore. Argonar gives her a sour look. Me included, Craven. <laughs> well, maybe you are in good company then, Bard. You might learn something about compassion. You're safe with us. We'll not hurt you. Say what you need to. She gives Honor a grateful look. In the poor light, her almost white irises seem to glitter, giving her a feral look. <laughs> I have been sent by Tomasis, our leader. My people have work for you, if you are for hire. The gold is good by any standards. What's the work? I cannot explain here. It's not my place to. You need to come to our home. It's the gray stone house on the mist shore. On Nine Stones Lane, you can't miss it. Knock on the door. First three times, then one time, then two times. You will be let in. Please consider it. We are desperate and time is so short. Will your people know where Maria Lestri is? Maybe. I can ask if you wish me to. We stay away from the politics of the Mishore, though. She turns to leave. Please decide quickly. Time is running out for us. Wait, travel with us. You'll be safer that way. No, Travis. Bloody hell. Why would you want her close to us? She's a monster. I cannot. It's forbidden. Thank you for the offer, but do not be concerned for me. Come quickly, and Tomasas will explain everything. Let her leave. Okay. So we need to search her out up up top too. All right. Well, let's see. We got a couple quests we need to handle up top. But first, since we're down here, we might as well go over here to the trading enclave and see if we can talk to Garrett. And see what comes of that. Other than that, I guess we can continue exploring down here. Yeah, we haven't searched this whole area back here yet. But. Let's see what's going to come out of this first. And let's see, we might as well sell whatever junk we picked up too. Yes, yes, yes. All right, what do we have here? That ring of scholars isn't going to do us any good. Let's sell that. And I'm going to keep all that I stuff. I would say yes. All right, light shield plus yes. two. Yes. We already have that yes. one, so let's go ahead and sell this one. All the necklaces can go away, the rings can go away, the gems. And 
these tools can go away. And I guess we can keep the rest of this stuff. And these gems can go away. Alright, how are we looking on money now? We got 86 grand. Yeah, I still want to go up on top. There's a nice set of bracers up there. I want to see if I can buy. But let's go see what Garrett has to say first. Can we get through here? Yeah. Alright, is everybody coming or what? Come on, everybody. Alright, let's talk to Garrett. You lot need to be careful. Things are going to get busy upstairs soon. Someone has killed Wendy's bookkeeper. Assassinated him. That's going to hurt business, and she's not going to be happy about that. Argonar looks concerned. When did this happen? A few hours back, the chatter is that Dex sent in some thugs. He isn't denying it, and the tension up at the gate is tight enough to spark. There'll be rioting if things don't calm quick. You don't want to get caught up in that. Last time it was a bloodbath. <laughs> Did some good, though. <laughs> How's your work going? Not well. We've met with Mickey the Fence. He either didn't want to talk, or he knew nothing. Whatever it was, he attacked us and died for his troubles. Mickey the Fence, eh? He looks at you appraisingly. You two don't look like you have it in you. <laughs> well, keep your heads down. I don't suggest you go up into the Navy dock till things have calmed down a bit. We're not planning on it. There's another person I know can help, but he's a long shot. My money was on Mickey the Fence. Before you go, you should know, there was someone looking for you earlier. Who? Little Karis. She came looking for you a few hours back. I sent her away with a flea in her ear. She won't be believing me, though. She's around somewhere. Little gets past that girl. Argonar spits on the floor. The craven girl. Gods only knows what she wants. It's of no consequence. Let's rest up and get our gear together. Yeah, we already talked to her. Alright, I don't think we need to rest up. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we need to find this Undertaker guy, apparently. Hmm. Yeah, we still need to handle some of these other quests, too. The kidnapped one, we should probably check and see if uh, Jack Black is up there now. Yes? Uh, yes. Let's see. We got all our spells. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yes. Yeah, we can probably head back up to the top. Alright, back up in the mist shore. And as you can see, I got the clock working now. So that's nice. Alright, anything change up here? This is new. Oh, there's the Undertaker right here, right next to us. Right there. Alright, we still need to handle that, uh, that quest over here. Something by the bag shop. Yeah, what was that one it called again? Uh, Girl in the Mist. Yeah, we need to take care of her brother. She's somewhere over there. And is this new too? Okay, that's the Craven Nest right there. Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and handle this business over here. Yeah, I want to see what's back here anyways. Let's see what this bag shop is. Alright, yeah, there's a lot of stuff back here. The forge appears to be closed and locked up. The Old Arch Tavern. I think that's where we need to go. And there's... There's a merchant back here too. These guys know anything? It's a fine day on the shore, as always. How can I help you? I have bags and containers of all types. Chests may be of no use to you, but the bags might. Let me see your stock. Yes, yes, yes! Okay, what's he got? Belt of Agility plus two. Hill Giant Strength, Brawler's Belt. Kind of spendy, though. What else does he have? Yep, he's got a lot of bags. Nothing that we really need, though. Let's leave that alone. Alright, what's this? And that goes nowhere. Alright, let's go ahead and knock this one out here. The old Arch Tavern. Alright, gang member, gang prospect, gang girl, gang leader, gang member. 
Alright, let's go see what's gonna happen here. You shut your mouth, cub, or I'll shut it for ya. I ain't plowing your sister yet, and you ain't no fox till I do, or till you earn it. Ha! <laughs> Damn! He turns his attention to you. You just hold it there. You don't walk up to me unless I tell you to. You're in the fox den now. No one even scratches their ass without my say. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you that we don't take nice to visitors in the den. I suggest you take your woman and turn tail it out of here before you get hurt. The bard there can sing all about how brave you've been. It will make an epic song. Isn't that right, bard? Go back to the Misty Inn. You two ladies will be welcome there. He grins at his friends, waiting for them to laugh at his joke. <laughs> you tell him! No one messes with the foxes! <laughs> Alright. Well, we got a diplomacy option here. Huh. <laughs> the foxes, is it? Tell me, what's the difference between a dog and a fox? About five drinks. <laughs> the man grins. Some of the others laugh. Very good. I'll remember that one. <laughs> Oh, we got a hundred experience points for that. Nice. Now go. This is where we hang. There's plenty of places on the shore. Go find one of them. <laughs> okay, it looks like we just got kicked out, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is probably going to be a fight. You know what? Just in case. Let's buff up in case something crazy happens. Get some stone skins fired up. I would say yes. All right, we ready to go? Yes. Let's go back inside, boys. All right, let's see what's going to happen. Is he going to talk to us? Well yep. We told you to go. You don't learn so well, do you? You have just a few seconds to convince me you aren't just simple. And you have a good reason for being here. All right. Oh, here we go. We're here to tell you that you are going to leave the laundry girl alone. I don't think it's any of your business what I do. Lizzie is my pass into the foxes. I decide what happens to her. It has nothing to do with you. You hear that? That's your answer now. If you think you can come in here and tell me what to do, then you ain't that smart. It works like this. I'm going to put you down. And I'm going to carve my name into you. Then I'm going to throw your sorry backside out onto the street. If you're alive, count yourself lucky. Put them on the ground. Let's carve them something to remember the foxes by. Yeah, I figured it. Here we go. Alright. If we put up, let's go ahead and get some death armor fired up. Alright, he's putting up invisibility and we got some grasping hand coming up. And you know what? Let's follow that up with some haste. Right, he's grappled. Alright, we got hasted. Alright, let's see if we can get her out of there. We've got taking some damage here. Alright, let's see if we can flank some of these guys somewhere. Death armor coming in handy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where is Argonaut? Here He's back ahead. here. I hope they like surprises. No problem. Right, we got to move a little bit here. We're getting kind of caught up in here. Okay, that'll work too. All right, let's see if we can flank this guy here. He's grappled. Maybe we should leave him alone. Let's get this guy back here. Alright, so far so good. Alright. Come on, take him down. Alright, Argonar's over there. Right, they're going down relatively easily, it looks like. Let's get this gang member here. He's not dead. And he's down. And let's go for a flank. Alright. 
Okay, nobody else. Let's see if this gang girl says something. Hello, I don't know if I should hate you or hug you. One way or the other, I was going to die if I stayed with the foxes. And the barman's back here. You killed him! I guess I owe you a good turn in return. All I have is beer, though. You're welcome. I don't need a beer, but thank you. You can rest up here for free if you want. I got no beds, but you're welcome by the fire. Hmm. I'll rest. You can sleep by the fire if you like. We have no rooms here. Okay, let's rest. Hey, maybe I'll bring you. Yeah, we'll take advantage of that. Alright, and there's another barmaid back here. I can't believe you did that! I never would have thought it possible. <laughs> they weren't so tough. The barman says you can rest up here for free if you want. There's no beds, but you're welcome by the fire. Alright, yeah, we're done. Alright, what's in the pile of rags? Nothing. Alright, and... Yeah, some un unnamed bottles. Let's leave them alone. Alright, and all the remains. Let's pick these up. Amulet of Electrical Resistance. A hmm. little bit of gold. And a club plus one. We can sell that. Healer's kit and some gold. More gold. And a silver ring. Alright. Let's pass off that healer's kit. Amulet of Electrical Resistance. Ooh, Electrical Resistance 20. Hmm. We this all way. have some Come pretty on, good Slowpoke. amulets already. Yes. Let's just hold on to that for now. And yeah, we can sell that club. Alright. I think we're done here. Let's get out of here. Okay, now I'm thinking, before we go over to this Craven place, let's go over here to the laundry place and see if we can close out this quest. I'm curious to see what we're going to get out of that. And then plus, I want to head back over to the Sea Ward and see if we can buy some uh, magical items that I've been saving up for. There's a nice set of bracers over there that I want to pick up. But first, let's go over here to the laundry store. The laundry shop here. Let's see if we can close this quest out. Plus, we need to see if we can find Jack Black, too. Alright, let's see if we can close this quest out. I greet you. Hello again. What can I do for you? I have news about Lizzie's situation. Tell me, please. Your brother and his gang picked a fight with us and lost. And Lizzie's back there. The girl stares at you for a short while, trying to comprehend what you've said, then starts to cry. Oh. Bessie walks up and puts her arm around the stricken girl. Sit yourself down now, Lizzie. Lizzie shrugs Bessie off and looks at you directly. That's the last of my family gone, sir, but I still have to say thank you. You can choose your friends, Lizzie, but not your family. Just because you have family does not mean they are good. Sometimes you are better off without them. I know that, I promise you. <laughs> yeah, she does. I know that, Miss Lestry. You've done me a huge favor. If I can stay away from Dex for a few weeks, I might even be able to stay here. You used my name. How do you know me? The girl falters for a moment, then recovers. Everyone's talking about you, Miss Lestry. We all know who you are. Bessie interjects. You can stay here as long as you like, Lizzie. This is your home now. Lizzie smiles at you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. We've got 500 experience points. All right, these guys say anything else? Nothing new. Yeah, nothing new. Lizzie say anything? Nope. Alright, let's take a look at the journal. That one actually cleared up. Yeah. Alright, well, we got a decent amount of experience points out of that, though. Let's get out of here. Alright, now back to the Sea Ward. Alright, back in the Sea Ward. Yeah, I want to see if Jack Black is going to show up. Uh, is that him? Yeah, it is. Yep, I fixed it. Yep. That uh, script that fires him for him to spawn is broke, and I had to update the uh, reference number on it to make him show up. Alright, let's see if we can close this quest out. Man, it's Jack Black. 
You seem to be adventurous type. I am looking for a man named Travis. Do you know of them? It is important that I speak to him before I leave town. That would be me. Is this about your son? He looks at you closely. Now you mention it, you do fit the description. I have this for you. I am more than grateful for you saving my son. I hope that these show my gratitude. Nice, he just gave us five diamonds and we got 500 experience points. I am in your debt, good sir. However, if you will excuse me, I have pressing business to attend to. Alright, done with that. Did that one actually close out too? Kidnap. Yeah, the boy came through. His father was waiting for us outside the house and has rewarded us well. Good. Okay, yeah, I want to go ahead and do a bit of shopping while we're over here. I'll do that off camera. And then I'll be back in a moment. Alright, all done doing a bit of shopping. Spent a good amount of money. I did buy these Gnarl Thorns Sacrifice Bracers. These are pretty nice. Plus four armor bonus, immunity to level and ability drain, and I can do heal once a day. Those are pretty damn good bracers. We're going to keep them. And I yes, also got yes, yes. the chain shirt plus four for Argonar, so his armor class is 27 now. Yes. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. 26 for Travis. And it's 20 for Honor. Get in line. So we're in Follow good shape. Me. All right, let's go back into the mist shore. All right, next thing we can probably do, since we're going this way anyways, we can probably hit this Undertaker. Once we get that one done, we need to go down here and into the Craven's Nest and handle that quest too. Let's see what this Undertaker one is going to be about first though. Yeah, right there it is. Hmm. The Undertaker. That's the guy we need to talk to. Greetings! Man's voice is pleasant and a touch toadish. <laughs> Greetings. It's a fine day, would you say? He looks you over, peering behind you and at the rest of the party. This is an undertaker's. Generally, there is a dead person involved in my transaction. <laughs> he smiles to himself. Though not always, of course. So, do you have a dead person to hand, or am I to deal with the living today? Pat all over your body. Last time I checked, I was alive, so I guess there will be no dead people today. <laughs> he chuckles. Good. I hate conversations with the dead. The dead are so dull. Always complaining about something. <laughs> In my line of work, living are the ones who have something interesting to say. Come this way. I can answer your questions, but I suspect this will need to be a private conversation. I have a room downstairs where I conduct such conversations. On the mish or even the bloody walls have ears. Come now, follow me, and we will talk about your questions. Argonar, you too. He smiles at Argonar. No point in skulking in the back. Let's not pretend we don't know why you are here. Come now, let's find somewhere we can talk, shall we? Okay. Yeah, Looks like he's taking care of some bodies over here on display. Huh. What else do you have in here? Alright, he just went that way. It's back here. Coffin. Those of the Mishore who are lucky enough to afford a coffin of any sorts are likely to find themselves in one of these. <laughs> Alright, not seeing anything else in here. Okay. Let's follow him down here, I guess. Off to your right, a door slams, and you hear the sound of running footfalls fading to the distance. Oh. What the hell's going on? He's going to backstab us too, I suppose. A blocked corridor. The sewer has been blocked here by a substantial but crude man-made wall. Alright. Yeah, if I remember right, uh, this tile piece right here was also black, so it looks like it fixed that. Yeah, everything's looking pretty good down here now. Alright, my guess is he's over here somewhere. Where the hell did he go? What is this? There's 
something here. The Book of Erdlin. The passages of this book are in deep gnomish text and impossible for you to read. The pictures make it pretty clear that this is not the most wholesome of prayer books, however. <laughs> okay. Is he doing some sacrifices down here or something? Alright, we got a door there and some kind of big room over here. Uh-oh. Skeleton warrior. There's gonna be some fighting over there, ladies and gentlemen. What's in here? Nothing in here. Alright, hang on. Let's go ahead and buff up. Things are gonna get crazy here. Yes! Uh, let's go ahead and get some mirror image up. And some stone skin. Alright, what else we have? Take these damn things out. Alright, let's go back to the rapier and the shore sword. Alright, let's see if we can get a flank going on here. Right, it's almost dead. Nice. Level up the R and R. Oh, damn, there's a whole bunch of shadows down here too. Skeleton warrior over there. Alright, let's fire up some aid. Is there anything else that we can possibly use? Let's get over here and start dealing with this mess here. Yes. Alright, what do we have left for some spells? Let's get a delayed blast fireball. Let's set it up right there. Alright, you guys stay back. Get in line. Follow me. Let's see if we can take these things down. There's a greater shadow there. Of course I can. Arganar, let's get you up here. Let's go with some curse. Nice hit. What else do we have that might be useful here? Let's fire up some haste. This one's bad. Man, I'm loading on him. That one's damn near dead. Greater shadow, deep shadow. Alright, let's take this one out next. Alright, let's see if we can possibly maneuver it. Well, let's just go this one. Nice hit. Alright, taking some damage over here. Let's go ahead and get some healing fired up. Alright, that one's down. Thing over here, dead. Oh, walking through the walls here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's suits. get Arganar up here. Get a flank going on here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Badly wounded. <laughs> and got him. Alright, and we got our sarcophagus back here. But first, let's do this level up. 12th level bard. Let's keep going as a bard. And let's go with some charisma. And let's go with concentration. I don't think we need diplomacy. We don't need height or anything like that. Um, not sure if we need lore. Let's see, we got perform. Let's get the spellcraft up. And use magic device. And let's put the rest into a praise. All right, we just picked up Song of Freedom. Okay, what do we get for a feat this time? Hmm, maybe some toughness. Spell penetration might be okay too, but he doesn't have too many offensive spells. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get him some toughness. His hit points are pretty low. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and he's got a strength decrease yes. going on here. 
I like me for great. We have some lesser restoration. Let's I pass can. that off. Get that squared away. Yes. All right. Let's see what we have down here. And the sarcophagus is probably trapped. My guess. Nope. This coffin, like all the others in the room, has already been looted. Huh. Okay. Let's pick up these remains then. Great sword plus two and some fire arrows. Good. Alright, anything down here? Oh, this is a cool little area here. Alright, we can't get under there. Yeah, there's nothing over there. Alright, great sword and some more fire arrows. Alright. Well, the Undertaker must have went this way then. Well, let's see. We are running up on time. I wonder if we can rest here. Yep. And we can rebuff up and handle the rest of this in the next episode as we are running up on time. We'll see you then.